What's up, investors? You're watching MJF Invest. Today's video is going to be about why I changed my macroeconomic strategy and pivoted a little bit into cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Before I get into that, though, please tap that like button. Early thumbs up really helps me out with the algorithm. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is a channel where I'm looking for the best opportunities across the stock market and cryptocurrency space. Uh, but this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So it's ultimately your decision whether you want to buy any of the stocks or cryptocurrencies I talk about on my channel. And the fastest way for any channel to grow is to have an interactive audience. So if you find anything of value in this content, make sure you leave a comment. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. So lately, I've been talking quite a bit about Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies, some altcoins that I really like. Uh, make no mistake about it, altcoins are speculative. Um, I'm not I'm not necessarily extremely bullish or confident in in many of them. So so certainly be careful with any crypto assets. I'm I'm, I'm a Bitcoin bull. Uh, I'm very comfortable with my position there, and I've been talking about that quite a bit on my channel lately. Uh, some of the some of the members uh, of the audience that have been here for a little bit longer uh, have gotten used to you know stock videos and research videos. But my message all along has been do your due diligence and follow the information I had to make a video really to just kind of point out why what i was looking at that made me change up my macroeconomic strategy um i still am bullish on stocks long term it's not like i think the stock market's going anywhere uh, but i'm not necessarily bullish uh, on anything that's relying on future fiat cash flows so first first of all right up on the screen right now is the cpi which is the consumer price index uh two percent a year is really what's what's healthy for inflation uh that's what's to be expected we've been talking lately though and i said like what is two percent though like the cpi says uh you know a basket of goods and services has gone up two percent and that's healthy and that's fine but if you look around right the value of homes, college educations, basically anything of value, lumber, right? Uh, uh, basically every commodity under the sun, except for gold, ironically, has gone up exponentially in the last 12 months. So, you know, I don't necessarily think that CPI is the best indicator on inflation. And I believe, I believe that this is just the beginning. I believe that we're really going to face... Uh, an inflationary period for this reason up on the screen i just switched charts and shout out to uh fred dot st louis fed dot org uh this is this is the federal reserve economic data so if you just put fred charts in the google search engine uh you could see they have a whole bunch of graphs and charts across the treasury bonds interest rates um the m1 the m2 uh, basically any economic data that you want to get your hands on you could find right there um, it, on this website. So this is a great website and shout out to these guys. And I wanted to point this out. This is the M2 money stock chart. And the M2 is basically all the money, the M1, the money in circulation, plus the money that's in bank accounts and um, money market funds, stocks and securities pretty much. And if you look, this has been on a pretty, you know, steady increase right up until here which is ironically March, 2020. And then you see a, a, a huge spike, a huge gap up, right? And it's consistent uh, upwards. So this is right when we started printing. So there's more money now um, in, in bank accounts and savings and um, stocks uh, than ever before and, and at a crazy pace, right? If we do face inflation, you could bet your bottom dollar that this chart won't look like this. This will start to come down here, which will further accelerate the inflation, right? Does that make sense? Um, we printed so much money last year. We're continually, continuously printing money. Um, and, and this could also indicate right now that stocks could be a little bit inflated. It could be a little bit. We could be in a bubble. This, this is... This could mean that, you know, it, it, that's a speculative statement. Sure. I don't know that for a fact, but, the, but that could certainly mean that, right? So the uncertainty of the environment, the overall, the macro scene, um, 
got me thinking like what's going on here got me asking some questions and got me thinking on those terms so when i started to look a little further into it keep this in mind as well look an inverted curve is an abnormal phenomenon in which yields on the short-term bonds become higher than those on the long-term ones when investors demand more return in the short term than in the long term they think the economy is headed for a recession Okay, so think about that for, for just a second. And if you take a look here, this is the latest uh, inverted yield curve. Was right, was right here, last March. <clears throat> um, before every recession slash depression or hard economic time, uh, this has happened. So the most recent yield curve inversion could certainly point me in, in the direction that a possible recession is taking place um, or, or could, be, could be near. We are banking on technology to be deflationary, which it always has been in the past. And I agree. I totally agree. I, I, I love investing in innovation. I love learning about innovation and technology. And technology historically has been deflationary. But I also could propose the question that this is a lot of uncertainty, the things that I'm talking about right now, right? As well as when you throw it into the mix as well, uh, some of the technologies that are coming out are job takers. The AI and robotics revolution is going to take away a lot of middle income jobs, a lot. Um, I love Tesla, right? I'm a Tesla boy. I talk about Tesla all the time on my channel. But what are robo taxis and self-driving semi-automatic trucks going to do? They're going to take a lot of jobs away is what they're going to do, right? Um, the number one job in the United States for an on-college educated male is a truck driver. So when Tesla or Waymore, whatever company comes with autonomous driving, what are those truck drivers going to do, right? And we're not that far away from it. We're a couple of years away from it. Um, you know, and this could, this could simultaneously be happening with inflation, with a recession slash possible depression. So there's a lot of uncertainty, right? And I'm, of course I'm speculating. What do I know? I'm not trying to promote that the sky is falling down or an apocalyptic, you know, type event, but you know, I don't trust these people, you know, and, and, uh, I did pretty well, um, in 2020, uh, in the stock market. Sure. Um, and I don't want to give it back. You know, when I started investing, I wanted to make sure that I changed my life for one and my family's life and the trajectory of generations, hopefully. Um, so, you know, I don't want to just give it all back. I don't want to go through a period where, you know, the stock market takes a 50 or a 60 or a 70% hit and I got to wait four or five years to get it back. You know, I wanted to protect myself. So I started my journey learning Bitcoin. And once I really learned and understood Bitcoin, it was very apparent to me that this was the best asset in the world, uh, the best safe haven asset, um, and something that I wanted to have exposure to. And the more I learned about it, it opened the door for other cryptocurrencies. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, I have a lot of concerns going forward, and I wanted to have a hedge, uh, as well as I want to be a saver. And fiat currency has completely abandoned um, the characteristic and property that money is supposed to have as a store of value. Uh, it's simply a medium of exchange. Um, and I don't want to do that. I don't want my money just to go out there and accumulate goods and services for me. I want to try to build wealth. Um, and I want to try to store my value. So I feel like in this moment in time, Bitcoin and cryptos are the place that I want my money. Uh, I'm not done talking about stocks. I haven't given up on stocks. Uh, this channel, I'm certainly going to be talking about stocks again, but when I see fit, uh, the purpose of this channel is to share my research and let you guys know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. Um, so I apologize in, in advance to anyone who is not happy with the fact that I, I, uh, I pivoted into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Um, but I will be talking about stocks again, just when I see the opportunities there, um, in the immediate future, uh, I don't, I don't see it. I just don't see it. Um, there's a lot of questions that I want answered before I put any money back into the stock market. 
Um, I do own my, I still hold my positions, uh, the, the ones that I've always talked about on my channel. If you've been following my work, uh, Tesla, Roku, Pure Storage, and Vitae, um, and there's a, there's a few others. Uh, but you know, the, all the new money <laughs> is going into Bitcoin, Ethereum, the Bat Token, uh, Mana, Matic, and some of the other Link, and some of the other cryptos that I've been talking about lately. Um, I really hope that I could get you know somebody else thinking in the, along these lines, uh, opening the door possibly to invest in some cryptos. Uh, I believe it's the future. Uh, we didn't have the opportunity to invest in the technologies that enterprises were built on when the internet came around, right? We do today. Uh, tomorrow's and the future enterprise applications are certainly going to be built on decentralized protocols and we have the opportunity today to invest in the technology um, so when you think of that and think of the opportunity in those terms uh, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and i'm not going to miss it if you're still watching thank you so much please be sure to tap that like button uh, subscribe for future content and remember that this is not financial advice because i'm not a financial advisor uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time